100 subscribers. Woohoo! Actually, we reached it a few weeks ago already, but at that time I was in Egypt and unable to make a celebratory video. Although I was collecting material for a little Middle Eastern adventure, which I will share with you in the future. And now, a few weeks later, we're quite a bit over the 100 mark. So I want to thank everyone who subscribed and keep watching my videos. I really mean it, it's really cool to be able to share my adventures with you and super cool that you want to take part in them. Anyway, I was thinking, 100 subscriber special, hmm, what should I do? It's gotta be special. Then I got it. I'm gonna tell you the story of how I met Denise, an epic adventure through the Balkans. It's a lot better than how I met your mother, I promise. Get a drink, get a snack, relax, and let me take you back to the summer of 2021. It's the summer of 2021. The pandemic is wreaking havoc on the world and travel is still very much restricted. Vaccines are being rolled out, but Sweden, my home country, was a bit slow with the vaccination process and I had just gotten my first shot, which left me with few options when it came to travel. But there was one country that had no entry requirements, and to which Swiss Air also happened to have a cheap direct flight from my hometown. That country was Albania. Good morning! What is good, yo? Well, I'll tell you what is not good. Sleeping in an airport. <laughs> I'm finally in Tirana. I arrived at Tirana airport like 2 a.m. 1 a.m. this morning. I was done with, you know, airport security like 2 a.m. Wow, it feels awkward <laughs> speaking to a camera. Public man. Yep, this was my first morning in Albania and my first real attempt of making a travel vlog ever. Yes, it's a special feeling walking around. New town, we're tired like this, man. Traffic here is crazy. <laughs> Crossing the road here is. This terrifying, not gonna lie, man. Traffic in Albania is quite something. Anyway, I stayed a few days in Tirana, which is actually a really nice city with plenty of things Whoa, to do. Oh man, okay, we're speeding up. Oh shit, Jesus Christ, man. Like, I always feel a bit nervous when I ride these things. Wow, this is cool. This is so cool. I ate all the types of burrick I could find. So yeah, so this is meat one. I think this is the Spanish one. Um, this looks really good. Mm. Oh man, find all the cheese burrick. I discovered that coffee in Albania is not very good. Honestly, it tastes like sand. And I learned about the history of the country. All in all, 10 out of 10 would visit again. A few days later, I found myself in Kruja, a town with a castle and an amazing view over the surrounding areas. There I also explored the Albanian cuisine a bit more. What is all this? This is bread. This is bread. With cottage cheese? Yeah. Soften? Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is blue cheese. These bell peppers. Obviously we have a begging cat over here. Mmm. Special pot. Forget it. Yeah, I had that yesterday actually in Toronto. It's really good. It's the perfect comfort food, man. I'm gonna try kofta. This is like Albanian meatballs. I actually had that in Tirana as well, at a grill place. Uh, really, really good. Oh, see, these are as well. Mm. Yep, they were. <clears throat> but a dinner, man. Like, good food. It's amazing view. Albania. I'm gonna propose a toast. Albania. This beautiful surroundings. The great food. The great people that I've met so far. So cheers to Albania, everyone. But after this video, I completely stopped filming because it's quite awkward to make vlogs and at the same time try to make friends. These were only trial attempts anyway that I would look through when I came back home to see if I had a future as a vlogger. You see, I actually only had a few weeks before I had to fly back and get my second shot of the vaccine and I wanted to have fun rather than trying to make vlogs of unknown quality. So the following weeks I traveled through this interesting country, saw a lot of cool things and met a lot of cool people. I swam in the blue eye, a natural spring with ice cold water. That is cold, man. That is so cold. Whoa. Yeah, it's like jumping into ice water. I learned about the history and the horrors of the communist era. And I explored a few of the thousands of bunkers left from the previously mentioned time. But eventually, it was time for me to go back for my second shot. However, I had fallen in love with Albania and just one week later I flew back. 
My first stop was once again Tirana, because that's where the airport is located. I only plan to stay for one night and then keep on exploring. However, a combination of insomnia and a bit too much of the local poison, Rahi, kept me from leaving. And every morning for the next few days I asked the owner of my hostel if I could stay one more night, which I could, until one day when there were no free beds available and I had to move on. Parallel to my adventure, Denise was also traveling. She had started in Greece and was traveling together with a friend called Mahan, who you will get to know a bit more when my Egypt videos eventually go up. Anyway, they somehow ended up on Corfu, the Greek island that is just a short ferry ride away from Albania. And, well, they took that ferry. And after exploring Saranda and the Blue Eye for a few days, they went to Berat, a small mountain town in Albania. Coincidentally, that was the same day I had to leave Tirana. And if you haven't already figured it out, Berat was the town I was heading to. In Berat there were two hostels, but we did not stay in the same one and therefore we did not meet that day. However, they both happened to have the same owner and the tours they organized were for both hostels. And while the town itself is cool, the main thing with Berat are the nearby canyons. And so it just happened that the next morning we ended up on the same tour. The first stop on this tour was a waterfall with ice cold water. And here the first video where we were both in was taken. Anyway, the tour was really cool, the canyons were stunning, cool pictures were taken, and everyone had a great time. However, after swimming in all the cold waters, we needed to warm up a bit. And as Albanian tradition has it, the best way to do it is Raki. On the way back, the bus turned into a party bus, and long story short, we parted all night. Or well, me and Denise talked all night. You see, during the day, it had turned out that we got along pretty well. Anyway, the party eventually ended, we went back to our different hostels, and that could have been the end of it. Except, it wasn't. The next day I went up to the mountain and had a look at the Burat castle. And on my way down, guess who I ran into? Yes, you guessed it, Denise! We ended up hanging out the rest of the day, made dinner, fell asleep outside, and I accidentally stole her hoodie. The next day I had to return it, so we ended up having lunch, which made me miss my bus to Shkodra. And I got stuck in Tirana with her and Mahan, who then headed onwards to Shkodra in northern Albania, and then further to Tef to do the Tef Valbona hike. The boat ride to get there was absolutely beautiful by the way, and also the place we stayed at in Tef. Good times. Until I started feeling horribly ill and could not stop throwing up. I was however not gonna lose my newfound friends and somehow managed to force myself across the mountain with food poisoning and a fucking guitar on my back. Top 10 hardest things I've done. And the next morning before we get on the bus back to Skodra, what do I do? Recover? No. Go on another hike with Denise alone? Yes. Anyway, back in Skodra again, we had some time to recover and chill out. After a few days, Maan decided to give us some privacy and went back to Germany. But me and Denise headed onwards to Montenegro. And well, there it takes approximately one day before we kiss and from that moment on we are no longer just friends. We party and hike our way from Montenegro. Budva Kotor Sablšak and head onwards to Bosnia. We enjoy Mostar with its beautiful bridge and discover that Bosnian coffee is the ultimate way of drinking coffee. We have a look at the monastery where water comes from and head onwards to Sarajevo where we chill and explore the old bobsledding tracks from the Sarajevo Winter Olympics. We get rained in in Bihać and in Croatia we almost compete in the Zagreb Marathon. Well, in Slovenia, we discover how cozy of a city Jubiljana is, and further at Lake Bled, we explore the beautiful nature and I swim in the ice-cold October water. This month, we rush through the Balkans before Denise had to get back. One final stop in Salzburg, Austria, before we finally reached the German border. With the exception of transiting through the country when I had hitchhiked for Europe a few years earlier, I had not really visited Germany. So we both took this detail as something to justify me following her all the way to Hamburg. And well, long story short, I stayed there until we flew to Mexico the following winter. The rest is history. Thank you for watching this 100 subscribers special, and I hope you enjoy this little love story. If you have not yet, this is the time for you to subscribe. I promise it's worth it if you like travel stuff, because we travel a lot. Thank you for all the support, I'll see you next time again.
that is so cool man